Well, fuck my ass and call me Rishi Sunak. It is episode 10 of the Milk Bar podcast, which is the bi-weekly Milkman podcast where we focus on comedic commentary and pop culture from the week prior, including recent news, games, food, and more. Now, just before we get started, we've got a bit of an announcement, boys, which none of you are aware. Mm -hmm. Because it's episode 10, we're going to be giving away that hat, which is one of our Milkman original merchandise hats. Whoa. Oh, yeah. How exciting. Can I shit in it? <laughs> That's how he signs things. Yeah. <laughs> I just shit on it. You shit in the hat. Well, we're giving it away, so you want whoever's winning the hat to have your shit. Yes. Win-win. Uh, <sighs> <laughs> you don't know how to respond to that. That's anyway, yeah, we're giving away a Milkman original embroidered black cow cap, which you can usually find at milkmen.shop. Now, to enter, all you have to do is subscribe to any of our mate Patreon membership levels, which start from as little as £3 per month, and we will announce a winner in episode 13 of this podcast. Now, depending on how many entries we get, mm. how much fucking moolah we get from <laughs> you cunts, we may be giving away a jumper or two as well. So go and subscribe to one of our Patreon membership levels. Doesn't matter which one. However, let's just point out that hat on Milkman Original, milkman.shop, yes. you can buy for twenty four ninety nine. You could get this for three pounds, right? However, there's a bit of a loophole here. Someone could go, oh, I'm going to get a 25 pound hat for three quid. And then unsubscribe from our Patreon. Now, just bear in mind, if you do do that, you win the hat, you've paid three quid for a hat, we will have your address. We will send shit in the mail every week for eternity. So just bear that in mind. And it won't be Danny's shit. It'll be just Mine. really, yeah. And you don't want his shit. No. Even I don't want it. <laughs> so, yeah, go and subscribe to one of the Patreon membership levels at patreon.com slash milkman to enter to win just that hat or more. Do, Who knows? Do the milky toes. You'll get some pictures of my toes. You were going to say something completely different Maybe. by the end of it. Yeah. <laughs> Who knows? That doesn't matter. <laughs> that's just in frame from where he's taking the picture. <laughs> no, it's not that big. Oh, sorry. <laughs> All right. Well, now that that's covered, segment one, story of the week which is a segment where some of the milkmen volunteer to tell a story of something that's happened to them recently or in the past. Then you, the audience, get to decide which is the best story of that week. So who's got a story to well, tell? I want to point out first, you said some of the milkmen because not all of the milkmen are here, are Fucking they? Fucking hell, yeah, sorry. Today, I'm joined by Ellis, Christopher, Daniel, myself, Oshan, Stephen, who's chatty as always, mm -hmm. And Frank, and then unfortunately, Simon has passed away, so he will no longer be with us. Yeah, he overdosed on Kinder Buenos, unfortunately. <laughs> That's such an obscure... <laughs> it's true. We didn't go with the coma bit, no, we just went straight into... No, no, he went into a coma and then died because right, of the Kinder uh, Buenos. He might be resurrected, yeah. we have magic powers, but yeah. you never know. Damn. We're not meant to really tell people about that. Shit, yeah. So <laughs> fucking... <laughs> I'm ending the <laughs> Wait, that's the death curse. Though. Yeah. So yeah, how was that bringing back? That's what I did on Simon. Oh. Oh, so it wasn't the Kinder Buenos. You just killed him. This is a cover. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and then admitted to it. Yeah. Sorry, guys. I he just did... don't like him. Yeah. That's my brother. He did that and just shoved <laughs> killed Kinder, my brother. Kinder Buenos down his mouth. And just like, <laughs> that's, that's the dream, baby. Yeah. Well, that's how I want to go out too. <laughs> okay, anyway. Right. Moving on. Has anyone got any stories? I've got a story. Go. Ooh. I've thought about this. Like, Can what? I just interrupt you? <laughs> <laughs> Not this again. I swear, it happens one more time. And that's it. I'm losing it. <laughs> I knew you were going to do it. <laughs> I was pointed to Stephen. Sorry, go anyway, on. Anyway, I thought that, I thought this through, right? So, I've not. none of my stories have won. So what anyway, am I going to do? Um, can we move on from <laughs> that? <laughs> so uh, you're dialing it to 11. Well, I'm not going to say 11. What I'm going to do is steal somebody else's story. Uh, and I'm going to tell a story about Oshan. <laughs> hang on a minute. I think that's how that <laughs> Hang on a second. If you win, surely I win because it's my... Nah, no. because you're not telling it. Yeah. What, exactly. story, sure what story is this? Because I just let's... Well, just, I'm about to tell you. The most the incriminating of them all. A, is it like, could I be arrested for this? I don't think so. That's not <laughs> giving me any confidence here. No, what, but, what is it? I mean, you've said a story about so. shitting on a beach, mate. I'm sure you'd, yeah. uh, the police wouldn't be too happy to find out about that. Yeah, but they've got no proof, have they? It's been washed away by the sea. <laughs> Are you sure? Are you I sure didn't... you just didn't bury it? 
it's like um, oh no I definitely buried it <laughs> it's like fossilised in the <laughs> sand <laughs> somehow 300 years from now somebody's going to find it and think <laughs> yeah. it's from like they're going to be so confused ape. they're going to be like oh, they did this back then <laughs> <laughs> I thought they had public toilets and cars <laughs> and they were very civilised people <laughs> But they're just shitting on the beach at 3 a.m. in the morning after they've had 20 <laughs> shots. What's going well, on? they can get all that from your fossilized shit. Yeah. 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 <laughs> no, the fucking it's podcast. Oh, yeah, true, yeah. <laughs> They're just listening to it like, what the fuck? Anyway, what is the oh, story? Yeah, yeah. So I'll, I'll cast your minds back. Okay. About four, yeah, four five, five, five years ago. We'll so this five. was before Danny was born. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't know yeah. you guys back then. So then um, Happier I had... times. I know. <laughs> So I had a, a housewoman party. Oh. <laughs> yeah. And, I'm happy for you to tell this yeah, story. Yeah, I thought It's not that it's, incriminating. No, okay. no, exactly. I think it's, out of all the stories, it's probably on the safer side. Yeah, it is. I don't, yeah. This isn't going to win, by the way. Oh, it just depends how he tells it. Yeah, so. Yeah. <laughs> tell it really good and it might win. Yeah, I will tell it if people didn't stop fucking interrupting me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Everyone shut up. Right, so I had a housewoman party. All my family came out to the house. And then um, I was like, oh, don't want to hang on with these losers. Can I invite Oshan? So he comes along. And then, uh, you know, we're, we're outside. He has like half a bottle of whiskey or something like that, whatever. Then we end up in the kitchen. He's chatting to like my brother, a few of my cousins and that were chatting. Um, anyway, Jerry gives him a drink. He has it. And then I literally, I was in the living room for like two minutes, like looking at know, pictures or something. It can't have been any more than two minutes. It must have been. Uh, and then uh, my cousin walks in and goes, "Yeah, you're gonna have to. Um, you're gonna have to sort your your friend out. He's in a state." And I'm like, "What?" When I left him, he was just like stroking the dogs or something like that. I was just like, "That's not a, a innuendo or anything." <laughs> <laughs> it is. I was stroking his family's feet. <laughs> <laughs> he was that out of it. Anyway, so then um, I go into the kitchen and he's literally just in the sink with his hair just in the sink. And I'm like, "What?" <laughs> yeah. what the- what the hell? So then we had to spend the rest of the night sitting him down, and then he was every time he was going to be sick, just picking him up and chucking him in the sink. <laughs> <laughs> and this is in front of my whole family. First and first time they ever met him. First time they ever met him. And then mostly, were, mostly your family, but like your mum and dad knew me, so they yeah, knew what I was like. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but he's yeah. he's he's not telling it because he, this family gathering for a housewarming was supposed to be a quiet thing, which is why none of his friends were invited. Mm. Yeah. Because they didn't want this to happen. <laughs> so then he invited me, and then I had that half bottle of whiskey outside, <laughs> went inside, felt absolutely fine. His brother, Jerry, gave me a drink. Two seconds later, I'm in the sink throwing up. He definitely, yeah, roof feed you or something. Yeah. But didn't he ended up he ended up the same that night, didn't he? No, he was he was fine. But no, the he thing was is- throwing up. Yeah, I remember he was throwing up in the night as well. I don't know. That, I don't that know. Night. But we were all like, but we we're in the kitchen. We're like, oh yeah, let's go. We're gonna go out now. We're gonna go. Everyone was like, gonna, gonna <laughs> yeah, go we had out. plans to go yeah. out, didn't we? And then two seconds later, I'm just <laughs> in his just... new sink. <laughs> yeah, apparently we'd like freshly like decorated everything. We just oh, literally moved in. Fuck. And then um, I had to like, take him home and carry him up these like he used to look, like his house had quite a narrow stairway. I had to like carry him up the stairs, and then. Um, he probably shot himself knowing him, probably. I didn't, to be fair. Wow. It all went out that way. <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm hearing yeah. here is that you're insinuating that your brother, Jerry, spiked Oshan. I mean... No. The thing well, is... we like, Jokingly, yeah. The, the, no, <laughs> jokingly. The thing is about him, he likes to say that uh, Jack Daniels doesn't agree with him. It doesn't. On two, on two occasions, right? One time, l- l- another separate story. Okay. We were at a party when we were like, I don't know, 16, 17. And then someone went up to him and went, How'd you drink this? And it was a bottle of Jack Daniels. And he just necked it straight out of the thing. Oh, and then he was out like it. half the bottle. Yeah. Out <laughs> it of wasn't it. even my drink. <laughs> I just went, how the fuck do you drink whiskey? Right? And I just went, like just that. down so, half yeah. of it. Later on in the night, Someone the person, that, <laughs> was like, the person that brought the drink went, did you drink my Jack Daniels? I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> but he ended up in a state then, but he thinks it was because of the Jack Daniels. No, it was because yeah, of the Evidently it was yeah. from the fucking downing of yeah. the whiskey. Yeah, no, so, but I also just don't agree with Jack Daniels. Yeah. But, but also that was the night that my mum called the ambulance on me. <laughs> yeah. oh, she thought I was going to die. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus. I honestly, no, I honestly think I was spiked that night as well. Because do you remember we, when we got, when you got me home and the ambulance came, I was fine. I was talking to the people in the ambulance and whatever. Yeah. Yeah. And I remember how awkward it was. Because my mum was having a right Yeah, your mum was having me. a go. I was sat on the couch with you and your <laughs> yeah. mum was just laying into you and I was like, yeah, I'm just going to go. You know? 
So yeah, that's my, my story about yeah, Offshore. I, I live a really wild just, life. Yeah. yeah, not unintentionally really... as well. You just fucking find yourself in these situations. <laughs> yeah, just, yeah, just sort of... <laughs> Fucking happen to have yeah. these things happen. It was just like the shock of like coming back because I was like, what? He was co- he was so fine. And I walk in, he's just like completely, <laughs> just completely gone. Because yeah, he's so weird. I think he just said to me like, all right, we'll go out in about half an hour. So I'm like, yeah, sound. And then I started stroking his dog. Two seconds later, he comes in. I'm just dead. <laughs> so. Fuck. Yeah. Good times, man. Good times. Oh, no, do you know what? That was a good story. You got two Fair stories yeah. in one there. So, Oof. anyone else got any stories, Stephen? I've, I've got a prompt for somebody here, but I want to ask first if it's okay of them to tell this story. And if quite recently, and I'm looking at you, and you probably know what I'm on about. Steve? Stephen's got a story. Well, what? Um, yeah. yeah. I, know so I didn't want to talk about it. Do you not want to talk not about really, it? Not really, no. Okay, well, do you want to just like give it in a sentence and then we'll move on and then we'll just laugh at you for that story? <laughs> not really. Man, I had too much to drink. Uh... <laughs> How did I forget that? I was like, I was like so intrigued. I was like, I was like, oh, he's got a story, Stephen. I think, I think what makes me want to say that, just to be clear, is because you're the most introverted of us, mm. and the fact that you've had this big thing happen that we won't talk about. It's just fucking mental. That's a polite word of saying he's boring as fuck. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. No <laughs> offense, mate, but we're proud of you for doing it <laughs> all the same. Do you want to bring any any other stories up that you've got? You must have something that you just like, some twisted shit in your mind. Come <laughs> on. happened on gaming recently? <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, Danny? No. no. For fuck's sake. I've Ellis? been working. That's all I've been doing. I'm, I'm drawing no, a like, blank. It doesn't it have to be, be last week. No, I know. Yeah. I mean. No, I mean, I just don't do anything. Ever. I mean, I've smashed out my teeth. People know that story. I don't. You don't? Nor do I. How have you done? No, he um, did. He told, he told yeah, us I'm the podcast. Sure, yeah, I'm pretty sure he told you like a long time ago. Oh, we, we were talking about take on any, their life. Uh, <laughs> take any notice of him. On their death. death <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, no. Yeah. On your bike. Yeah. On the way down a hill. Yeah. Pillock. Does it still kind of affect you? Um, it's in the state of his face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <that's laughs> I'm ugly. Um, <laughs> I mean, not my teeth. But, oh, I mean, my fucking shoulder's all fucked up and stuff. Mm. Uh, other than that, I'm all right. I'm living. you the the. Are you? Like, I don't really have a dentist. I have to go to see like a specialist to get my teeth checked out. Oh, okay. And they said like I have five years until my teeth falls out because it's it's got no nerves in it. They're all bad. Jesus. Sorry to interrupt, but I think everyone has to go and see a specialist about their teeth, Danny. You no. can't just go to a random geezer in the street and go. No, no, no. Ah, yeah. I don't no, have a dentist. Yeah. Like I have a regular dentist. I have dentist. to go to an actual hospital Why? to go and see a, like yeah, a proper specialist. <laughs> They're that fucked. Yeah. Fucking hell. Because my teeth came fully out. They had to like. You know, have you got dentures? And what, like, no, they put it back in. They've just taken the nerves out of them because all the nerves were dead. And one of my, one, one of the tooth have like connected to the skull because they're in a sleeve, so they have a little bit of flexibility. Oh mate, I'm feeling a bit but sick. One of mine's actually like attached <laughs> to my skull, which could be very bad. What, your but, tooth, yeah. So like, if you tap on it on all my teeth, you can hear the sound difference in that one tooth. <laughs> like a fucking piano. Like, no, no. no. <laughs> um, so this is yeah. a seat. It's, <laughs> it's all a bit fucked. It's B major. They said I have about five Here's years my... until my teeth falls out, and then uh, yeah, it's now it's now been about seven you... years. So Jesus, did you hear that? No idea. Chris went. Here's a minor. <laughs> Absolute yeah. piece a minor. Of like, hardly it? nowhere. Has it like uh, psychologically actually prevented you from going out and doing what no. caused it? No, <laughs> no, it, you no, just the, really don't. So I give a fuck. So the, <laughs> <laughs> the day it happened. When I had all the surgery to get him back in, mm. the doctor said that I wasn't allowed to ride my bike for it while it heals. Mm-hmm. That's the bit that upset me the most. Mm. I was like, no, I, I'm still going to do it. But I, did. I don't understand why it would like stop you. Like, uh, Just in case I fall off again and fuck him up even worse. You could try just not falling over. <sighs> <laughs> you could try not being a gun. Yeah, Tried, just, but it's just yeah. not going to work. It's an attempt that has taken a millennia. But never <laughs> you got stopped. a story, Alice? I don't really have one that's like exciting, but the dentist stuff kind of got me thinking about something recent. That's like the most boring shit in the world. And I'm just going to tell it anyway. Um, so I have been in the past month trying to uh, intentionally trying to cut out. Uh, this is like a hippie kind of thing, but like cut out plastic waste in my life. Mm. And one thing I've done quite recently is find a new toothpaste uh What's the uh, word I'm looking for? Tube. <laughs> no, that's not what I'm using. What I'm using now is something I've never tried before, and it's toothpaste tablets. 
You can what? buy, yeah, they're really strange. Is this, is, way, plant, is this yeah. his way of saying that he's doing drugs? Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so they're quite new, and I think they're certified by dentists now, but they're basically little tablets that you chew, and then you just chuck a bit of water in your mouth. So what it is, is you're a dog eating one of those little fucking bones. Yeah, things. it's yeah. wonderful, man. Yeah. Okay. Do you, still, do you still brush? Yeah. It's toothpaste. What am I, I'm just going to fucking leave it in my mouth just to dry. I don't know. You're not actually supposed to spit toothpaste out, though, are you? I mean, no, no sorry. You're not supposed to swallow it. Right. And then you... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're not supposed, you're not to, supposed to swallow yeah, it. Rinse. You're not supposed yeah. to rinse. Stuff. You're not supposed to spit rinse. it out. Yeah. Got there, just yeah. leave it in there. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta let it so sink in. <laughs> <laughs> but there That's you go. Nice. That's literally the most boring thing no, I've I ever said. Kind of I think we know yeah. who's not winning. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll you, take you, that. Oh no, you did say sorry. Right. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna say my story now, just oh. so I don't lose. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, wow. I'm to really? my story. Fair okay, play, man. Right. So obviously I can't really remember much. That's right. Good good way of starting. But um, went out drinking. Well, we only had a few drinks in the pub so i'm not really a big drinker everyone knows i'm not a really big drinker so that's what the weird thing of the whole story is but then we went out to the club in town and he only had like three or four drinks so he was mashed off his fucking face <laughs> and then all i remember from about it was 12 30 mm. i'd work at seven but <clears throat> i've done it before so like i knew when to cut myself off you madman you know i knew when to cut myself off and then that was it. After twelve thirty, I can't remember a single thing. I woke up at six a.m. in my room with my mum. Uh, she said you were found on the side of the road at like two o'clock in the morning, like five minutes away from my house. <laughs> so I was covered in cuts and stuff. Fucking hell! I didn't know that. Yeah, my head was cut up. My ar- my arms were all cut up. My uh, hips were really bruised. My legs were all cut up. Yeah. Were you uh, in a fight? I don't know. I don't... Fucking jumping into well, no, you were you were definitely that. spiked, weren't you? Mm. But. Yeah, well, that's the weird thing. It's because the people I was with were like, oh, you couldn't have been spiked because you just couldn't. That was their excuse. Mm. But then it's like, it's not I'm not. Yeah. But didn't, didn't you say one of your friends that you were with well, got given a drink by someone? Yeah, but the last then... thing, they were just taking drinks off people and I got given one of them. Yeah. So that's what I was saying. And it, that, that was pretty much like, the last drink I can remember. Yeah. And So if we learned anything, don't accept drinks off strangers. But I didn't. I accepted it off. My your mate, who, yeah, yeah. Just, I know yeah. it wasn't your fault, but yeah, it's just weird because like, I woke up the next day, <laughs> couldn't move, throwing up. Did you know your mum sent me a photo of yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. 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 I oh, started laughing <laughs> <laughs> on anyway, the screen right here. Now. It is. Um, yeah, ne- nearly died. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you didn't. So I, uh, I won't tell this as a story, but I will mention um, when I was working at a project a couple of weeks ago, uh, people from. Uh, all over the world were there and they were just asking what the area was like and I was telling them the story of Stephen getting spiked just to like generalize what kind of area <laughs> wow, wow. So let, let's be let's be fair though the area that we live in is nice oh yeah it's we're just, very lucky you can get a few odd ones like this five here I'm let's just be honest, using it as we're a not going to go tale. and spike people though <laughs> I'd well, spike actually, you. you right we won't go and spike people why would I go? We won't go and spike me. <laughs> I won't spike anyone again. What? Again? Oh, <laughs> God damn it. I'd spike you guys. I've spiked you joke. before. Yeah, just what? as a laugh. <laughs> Wait, go, hold That's up. hilarious. Hold, up. <laughs> <laughs> hold on there a minute. <laughs> oh. Anyway, yes. <yeah>, so. <laughs> you just admitted to spiking him and no one listens here. What? <laughs> no, no. We know this story and it's not really like spiking. I just fucked with a drink when we were out and... London or Liverpool? Oh, yeah, mate. Yeah, but I'm not going to tell this as my story, but I'll just say quickly. So we were out in Liverpool. I wasn't feeling the best, so I was going in and out of the bathroom because shitting everywhere, right? (laughs) I got two pictures from Weatherspoons, and I took all the ice out so that I could just down it. And then I came back. Someone put all the ice back in, spent like 10 minutes taking it out, so I was already pissed off. Then I drank a bit. He put fucking vinegar in it. (laughs) I still drank it. To be you fair. really. That's probably why I was shitting night. myself all night. So cheers, Alice. <laughs> anyway, here's my story. It's called <laughs> Shit Sick and a Banging Headache. Oh, no. It's very. Um, that sounds very familiar to a couple you got of weeks a title ago. For it. Yeah, <laughs> mate. It's a good story. Every story needs a title. So basically, this involves me, but it isn't actually me who shat themselves. So 
Round of applause for wow. me, please. Wow. Thanks. Right, so I was away in Shagaloof with the boys. Mm. And uh, I think it was like the third <clears throat> or fourth night that we were there. And we were out pretty late. Everyone got far too drunk. Like this, like we went ridiculous when we were there. Like we got ridiculously drunk every night. But this night, we went extra silly, right? We were very silly boys. And everyone ended up going home really early, like 12 or 1. I ended up being one of the last there. So there was me, Caleb, and Gareth. Uh, Gareth left early. So then it was just me and Caleb. We stayed for another drink, and then we went home. Now, bear in mind, this was like maybe an hour had gone by. Mm -hmm. So there was another two lads at the hotel. So we met up with them. Me and Caleb met up with these other two guys. And we were like, oh, you're right. And then started chatting. And then we were like, have you seen Gareth? Where is he? And they said, well, we don't know. He hasn't come home. We were like, well, he left before us. And he was coming here. So where is he? And we looked in his room. Wasn't there. So then we started getting worried. So we started calling him. Wasn't answering. Texted him. Nothing. So then we were like, yeah, I can't be asked. Let's just go sleep. And then we, we all just went, yeah, let's just go sleep then. Right. So we actually did. We actually got in bed and we went to sleep. <laughs> but the person that was sharing a room with Gareth <laughs> then knocked on my door and then said, you're going to have to come and have a look at this. And I was like, oh, fuck's sake. Right. So walked into his room where Gareth was staying, opened the bathroom door. There's Gareth, stark bollock naked <laughs> with sick in the sink on the walls and the floor, shit on his legs and all over the toilet. And then I was like, me and me and uh, the other boys were just like, mate, what are you fucking doing? We haven't seen you for like over two hours. Why? Where have you been? He's like, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> just shitting and sicking like everywhere, throwing up. And then we were like, mate, you're gonna have to go to bed. Like you're gonna have to wash this up and go to bed. He just pulls his boxes up and gets in bed and goes to sleep. And that's it. Woke up the next day and then he, he did actually clean it. To be fair, he didn't oh, leave play. it to the maids, but it, it was just a really funny like. Just seeing your mate just with shit, sick, and <laughs> God knows what else, just all over him. And then he just goes, oh, fuck's sake, gets his boxes up and goes into bed without washing any <laughs> of it. fucking disgusting. I don't even think he flushed. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> just fucking went to bed. And then uh, next morning, the person that was sharing with him um, came into our room and went, can, can I use your shower, please? Because <laughs> we were like, yeah, you don't have to go into this shit, sick, <laughs> fucking fiasco that's happened in there. So... Yes, um, that's, that's my story. Lovely. So, audience members, anyone that's listening or watching, comment below who you think has won because we're not going to decide this week. Ooh. No, sir. Yeah, how exciting. So we'll wow. find out soon. Uh, okay, moving on. If you want to become a Milkman founder, check out milkmen.shop with limited edition hoodies, T-shirts, caps, and more. Milkman Original will keep you cuddly, warm, and cozy. With free shipping on orders over £69 across the UK, Purchase any product and you'll be labeled as a Milkman founder. Make sure to check out our merch at milkmen.shop. And also, just a reminder, patreon.com slash milkmen and you can enter to win one of these hats for free we by also, paying us. We also state the fact that we do actually have a Discord, like a community Discord. Uh, we can put that in the link we? of the Discord. In the, um, link oh, yeah, we do. Yes. Yeah. I, I literally designed it. Yeah. Sorry, yes, you can tell them. <laughs> yeah, so we do have a um, community Discord. I believe one of these who are going to be posting it will link down below in the description. Join. So join it and find out exclusive things, maybe, possibly. We don't really use it. <laughs> <laughs> it's really selling. Yeah, there's not much fucking... But, it's you still know, uh, it's actually really, really it's just shit. There. If you want to talk, I guess. Yeah, if you want to come and chat with us in a Discord call and... Pay us. <laughs> you have to pay us to talk to us. <laughs> <laughs> okay, moving on to the weekly news recap. Has anyone got any news they want to bring up that's been going on around the world? Post Malone's got a new album coming out. Oh, didn't ask. Shout, yeah. um, Danny, shut your fucking mouth. There was something I've got it though. So let me know. So, Post I, Malone. I only knew about it because you told me about it. Yeah, it's coming out in the July, I think. And it's a um, pure acoustic. Yeah, he album. says every song it's like he's the guitar. I um, can't wait. That's like going yeah, back to his like roots. And, yeah, so it sounds pretty good. So I can't, I can't wait. But have you heard about like I keep seeing on TikTok and that where they're saying that um, Post Malone they're, they're like saying that he's on drugs and stuff, and then he's had to go on Twitter and be like, "I'm not," you know what I mean? I'm not. 
but just because he's like lost a bit of weight, people are like, and he's just vibing Man's on stage. He's just looking, yeah, he's just yeah. enjoying himself, and yeah. he's just vibing to his own songs, uh-huh. and everyone's like, he's on fucking crack, yeah, when he's literally not. <laughs> mm. Like he drinks alcohol, but he's not, he's not on drugs or yeah. anything. Yeah, so you know, if that's you. Shut up, mate, and just enjoy his music. Yeah. <laughs> Leave the man he's alone. a nice he's guy. Such a well. yeah. he's so down to earth and nice. Yeah. So what if he's on crack? You know what I mean? <laughs> it's his life. I mean, who isn't? Who isn't? You know what I mean? What? Um, have right. you watched any of like the American interviews, like with Jimmy Fallon and shit? With him? Yeah. No. He's like the sweetest guy. Yeah. Like, yeah, he, he, is. T- he yeah. says like yes, sir, to every answer or question. Yeah. 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 Uh-huh. Like there was that one time that he just went to a club and just gave out a million dollars just what? because. Yeah, I didn't know that. He just, yeah, he yeah, went there with a cardboard box full of money and just started going, yeah, here you are. <laughs> Nothing that. I can grand. do that. <laughs> <laughs> I've been in a lot of debt, but I can do it. Not that I would. <laughs> yeah, have that's you, nice. Have you remembered your thing, Danny? No, no, no that's gone. Useless. That's gone. It's was of, it that your brother's died? I filled up half my <laughs> cup with rum. Uh, I'm trying to think of new. I can't even, <laughs> I can't even think of anything that's been going on. Well, I can tell you. Oh, here we go. I'd have to think. Philly Schofield is a raging uh, nonce protector. I forgot about that. that. I was, was going to yeah. talk about that. Just a small. So Schofield recently announced he will be leaving the, is it the small? Schofield? Is that what it's called? I think so. Uh, I don't watch it. Yeah. So he's leaving it after 20 years of being on it, referring directly to the very difficult last few days after a feud with Holly Willoughby. In <laughs> April, Schofield's brother was found guilty of sexually abusing a boy. And he just fucking decided, you know what? I'm not going to tell Holly. Or did he? And that's oh, where the drama, drama starts. Yeah. This is when the um, EastEnders theme tune kicks in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Fucking yeah the thing is, with, um, with him, it's like, because the whole thing was, he started seeing that, a boy that was like a, what did they call him, like a T-runner, or like a runner on, on the mm. set. But yeah. he had known him for Since like... Since he was 10. Yeah. Because mm. uh-huh. he was in a media group, or wasn't he, this lap? Yeah. Fucking hell. And then Philly knew him from there, and then he gave him an, opportunity because he followed him on Twitter and then gave him an opportunity at ITV. It's mm-hmm. ITV, isn't it? And then uh, ever since then, it's been a Fun little yeah. love story, but isn't it? The thing is, people are going to deny. Oh, absolutely. What's like, oh, we didn't What's know what going was going on. on. But it's like, he was it's... working on set and mm. it's just, how yeah. would you not know? You yeah. Know? And also, I remember like a year ago, TikTok was well aware of Philly being a bit of a nonce, right? Mm. If we knew, if the internet knew a year ago, everyone at ITV, including Holly, everyone definitely knew from the very beginning. Mm-hmm. There's yeah. like, there's no chance they didn't. They Being around him as well. Can't turn a blind eye on that shit, but especially then, in the internet. They, they, everything's they, in ink. Like, this whole like feud that they've been having, Holly and Phil, they've tried to blame it on the fact that he sort of kept it a secret about his brother being a nonce. But then in reality, it's, yeah. he is also a nonce. It runs in the family. It's yeah, a bit like your genes. family, to be fair. Dan. What can I say? <laughs> it is what it is, mate. The fact you've just admitted to that is <laughs> going to scar you in the yeah, future. I'm, I'm fucked now, that's it. It so, is what it is. Question for you. Mm. What would you guys do if it turned out one of us was protecting a nonce? <laughs> um, <laughs> I'd cut your cock off and I'd cut, cut their cock off. So if I was protecting yeah, a nonce? If you were protecting a nonce, I'd think you're just as scummy as them. But what if you're the nonce? <laughs> Well, then I'm cutting my own cock off, aren't I? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't stick, like, you just wouldn't. Mate, I'm not, I'm not coming at this from the other side like, no, we should be. Like, <laughs> I'm in complete agreement yeah. with you. I'm just asking the fucking question. Playing... Don't shoot the messenger, Chris. Like, if, if someone's protecting a nonce, they are just as worse as the nonce. Mm. Yeah. You know, it's as simple as that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, coming from a nonce, what's your perspective, Steve? <laughs> What? <laughs> What's your perspective what? on kids? <laughs> We've yeah. we got him, boys. What, what? Sirens start playing. <laughs> what would you do if one of one of us, for example, we were protecting someone else that was a nonce and you didn't know about it, and then suddenly you found out? Hmm. Would you be pretty upset? Well, yeah, I'm not going to be happy. <laughs> 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 just I'm look, glad. look wow. I'm not angry I'm just disappointed okay <laughs> <laughs> it's not like you're going to message him saying congrats is yeah. it? congratulations there isn't a right nuts. answer like there isn't like a ro- like no a there's thing. definitely a right answer no I meant wrong I mean I can see it, it from both sides I can see where they're coming from they've got a good friend but also he's a nonce 
It is mad though that they, like the BBC is famous for it, isn't? Yeah, they? like they protect mm. nonces. I don't know. Yeah, and the government. Yeah, well, they're everywhere, unfortunately. There's a few on this table. Yeah, sure. <laughs> um, <laughs> what kind of sentence in jail would you give a paedophile? Would you like re- without like remorse? There's no empathy involved. Like, doesn't matter. There's no law that would stop you from doing it. What would you do? Oh. Couple of months. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Couple, Couple of months. months. <laughs> I don't know. A night in the cell. <laughs> yeah, so. I'll sort him out. He, he, he'll know he's done wrong. No. Yeah. Now a lot of people they go kill him, mm. but to me that's not. not that, that's, that's not the fair. easy way out. Isn't yeah. it? Treat him like the, they treat the kids. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no. What I would get do. someone older to nonce on there. <laughs> <laughs> Show him it's not nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is some. Uh, or just switch, nice. the, switch the roles. If I'm like younger than them, I'm gonna fuck them. Yeah, but show that, them that a kid can over. I was still of legal age. That still <laughs> yeah, doesn't. Yeah, obviously, Daniel. Well, like, that's not a fucking. <laughs> so don't be enjoying it. No, no, no. Look, <laughs> you're just saying you want to fuck no, a pedophile. No, no, it's like the uh, Bo Burnham joke. Make it oh, nice, yeah. am I? <laughs> it's like the Bo Burnham joke where it's like. If I fuck a kid, I'm a paedophile. But if the kid fucks me, I'm a paedophile again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, literally. That's what he's just yeah, saying. Exactly. So I'm not going to get like more like on my sentence, am I? They're going to get more on their sentence. <laughs> Why are you getting my <laughs> sentence? <laughs> you don't want to know. You're the one sentencing. Just com- yeah. That's right. No. He's confessing. Oh, what what they... <laughs> well, you got to commit a crime to get in the prison with them. You know what I mean? So hang you Hang on. So it's, you're sentencing a nonce. Yes. So I'm going to sentence but... myself so I can destroy their lives. Right. Okay. By right. also becoming a not now. This is <laughs> so convoluted. Yeah. So my original uh, pitch was to bury a hole. No, no. Bury a bury hole. A hole. <laughs> you're just, you're just going to dig a hole and then fill it back in. <laughs> I'm just venting. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> just stood there watching you do it. <laughs> just... He's just there really angry. Digging <laughs> yeah. Fucking... You enjoy watching this? I... <laughs> I hate paedophiles, mate. <laughs> Fuck, no. So I'll dig a hole, put them in it, and just like rope them down in a bucket of piss and just leave them there. Yeah. But no. But then they die. And then drink the piss, yeah. Isn't it? But you guys have made me think of another idea where you take this pedophile, like tie him up or whatever, put him in a school, give all the kids baseball bats. But what if he wins? <laughs> what? <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? That's not a good Yeah, you walk in an hour later, all the kids have got their pants on. <laughs> yeah, a ring full of kids he, sounds like a nice thing. He's just stood in the middle of the That's like yeah. not a good place. He's gonna, oh my God. He's going to enjoy that, isn't he? A ring full of kids. <laughs> 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 Imagine he's really, he's really kinky as well. What the fuck? He's slowly walking up to one of the kids that are still in the corner. He like, managed to like, escape it. <laughs> <laughs> That's possibly the funniest thing Stephen's ever seen. He doesn't, he doesn't say much, but when he does, he comes out with bangers like that. But what if, what if he wins? What if he somehow breaks out? Okay. Now, personally, I would want them to be tortured for the rest of their life. Yeah. That's the noble response. Yeah. 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 Like, <laughs> just start peeling their skin off. Ooh. Fine dice their cock. Uh, you can, like thinly slice it from the tip all the way down. Might enjoy that as well. Might do. Actually. Yeah, you might be re- like you might be really king. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I really enjoy my cock being cut off. <laughs> well, that's making like, a TikTok. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Just that. So, nothing else. Final thoughts on Philly Schofield. Uh, I'm glad he is at the bottom of the barrel. Good what are you laughing at? It's just funny because like, that's what we were talking about. Yeah. <laughs> the conversation just derailed. <laughs> we suddenly got on to how we would sentence a nonce and then Ellis was just suggesting put him in a school. <laughs> yeah, put him in a school to get just tortured. Help him out, you know what I mean? <laughs> put him closer to the kids. <laughs> you know, just let the kids vent. That's, you know. Well, he's going to run to him. I'm not gonna <laughs> him. No, baseball bat. <laughs> but right. th- thoughts on Phil? Do we think he's a nonce? Yes. Well, at minimum, I mean, have I think... you seen him? Let's be honest. <laughs> yeah. At minimum, he's definitely um, what's the word? Like a, he's a groomer, isn't he? He's, he's groomed mm, yeah. that, that poor lad. Yeah. <sighs> Disgusting. Yes. But that poor lad, he's got a good job now. 
So no job now. No, he's no, he said he's job. got a good oh. job. So let's just move on and swiftly avoid this yeah, that's, thing that's, that's happening. Anyway. <laughs> so in other news, the GTA 6 trailer is rumored to be coming out in October 2023, which would be the 10-year anniversary of GTA 5 Online. 10 years. I know, 10 years of just GTA 5 Online. I remember when it came out and it was an absolute fucking shit show. The mm. servers weren't working, nothing. Wor- but mate. Doesn't it piss you off that we're all still playing it? Yeah. No. Yeah. Yes and no. It is annoying, but also it's still... I mean, the graphics are a little bit outdated. Oh, but fuck, it still yeah. holds up for... It's like, still a fun, fun game. Yeah. yeah. You could say the same for Roblox. The graphics are shit, but you still play it. Hey. No. Hey, 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 hey. Depends you on... Roblox out of this. <laughs> <laughs> it depends on what game mode you're playing on Roblox. still looks shit. You look shit. Yeah. Just Bitch, leave. come on. So are we all going to be buying <laughs> the, uh, the GTA 6? I'm going to my are we all going to be buying... That's like... Do you, are you going to continue wait, 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 to breathe hold or shall? Hold on a minute. Are we all going to be buying on console? Uh, are we depends. Gonna get on PC? Uh, well, it depends if I get a PC. Because if, and if he gets depends a PC. if you get a console. <laughs> oh, actually, no. no yeah, let's add, spin this other way. Crossplay. It'll come Ooh. out on console that's, that's first, if it right, happens. anyway. Because you know Rockstar are famous and not doing crossplay. Yeah, but they have to get with the times now, don't they? They don't, though, they do don't. they? Because they're, they're so still big. making so much goddamn money from it not being crossplay. But I just want it. <laughs> Isn't it mad though that um, that one like that one game spread across three consoles? Mm. Yeah, because it's been so long since yeah. it came out. I, I remember the day it came out. That's yeah. like oh, yeah, it embedded ago. in my brain. It's really no, it weird. Wasn't. That was just GTA Online. Yeah, it came out ten years ago, didn't it? Twenty. Yeah. Oh, it was Online came out like two weeks. No, so after. GTA uh, Five came out the campaign, and then the multiplayer yeah, like two weeks later. Mm. Came oh, out. Was or it? two months? I don't remember. Uh, yeah, it was wasn't that, it wasn't that long after mm. the release of the actual no, game. No, it wasn't. It was kind of the same with um, Red Dead it. 2. Ten, Ten years, years and it's still, still yeah. like one of the most yeah. popular games on mm. earth. Mm. Mm. Uh, mm. On September 18th, 2022, 90 videos showing off a total of 53 minutes and uh, some seconds were, uh, worth of test footage were leaked in one of the biggest data breaches in history of GTA 6, these videos, um, which was like in its beta form. Uh, we can see the main player taking the role of a male and a female character as part of Bonnie and Clyde-like duo named Jason and Lucia. Mm-hmm. This is like the first... I think I'm mm-hmm. correct. It's the yeah. first female Ma- like main, main character, character in a GTA game. Uh, that I know of. Um, there yes. might be like some spin-off title that has a I female don't, don't protagonist. No. I'm, I'm pretty sure there's like some kind of like weird Nintendo I mean, don't spin-off. get me wrong. I haven't... Like played all of them, but from like Vice no. City onwards. Oh, like, like the main titles, main. no. Mm. Yeah, they've all been main, male. So yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how it works because I'm, obviously... I'm I'm looking forward to it, but I'm really concerned for the actress whoever plays her. Mm. <laughs> no, like genuinely, that's why. Gonna... I mean, all, you, there's always one. The GTA shit that you can characters. do to the characters. Oh, yeah. right. In that game, you can dress them up. You can make them go to do things and yeah. so you've gone the sick and twisted route I'm just excited yeah. no I'm concerned you know I mean? he's like he's straight away gone like oh, no how can so, we yeah. not on this pervert <laughs> <laughs> on, how no. can we not on this pervert aren't looking you at the you, pervert <laughs> looking at you um, so since the footage became public the GTA 6 leaker has been arrested yeah it was a kid yeah, according to the city police, the 17-year-old suspect appeared in a specialist youth court and pleaded not guilty to two computer misuse offences. Really? One related mm. to the GTA 6 leaks and two counts of violating his bail. The suspect has also been charged with two counts of breach of bail conditions and two counts of computer misuse, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> How mad is that? A kid yeah. breached <laughs> a, a rock kid star. breached Rockstar, leaked the beta footage of GTA 6, and then just dipped, and then he got arrested yeah, for it. Some random kid mm. just, just goes through everything. He didn't breach Rockstar, though, did he? He breached a dev, wasn't it? It was I a dev's no computer. Oh, like, was it? It must have been, because he wouldn't have been able to hack into Rockstar's. Oh, so you, you're just assuming. <laughs> yeah. You, you know. just get the no. facts straight, yeah? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> okay. Yeah, actually, actually, yeah, no, no, he's no, going no, on his phone. We'll leave him to that for a bit. What are our hopes for GTA 6 besides the cross-play, like I've mentioned? In um, no flying fucking bikes, maybe. That would be That's fucking brilliant. That, that would, would definitely be, so be a top thing on my list. But then well. again, I also have mod menus, so it doesn't matter to me. <laughs> well, you won't for like the first couple of weeks Wanna when bet? it comes out. <laughs> They'll be really shit. How much are we putting on it? A penny. Two pennies. How about three? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Here we no, go again. One hope of mine. So like with Red Dead 2, 
mm. you could explore the majority of the map. Whereas in GTA, 5, obviously, it's like ten years old. So I can't oh, really you mean like buildings and whatnot? Yeah, you can't really go into many buildings. And no. then also, when you do go into a building, it's always like you go through a cutscene and then you're in the building. Mm. Whereas it's not just continuous yeah. flow. So I'd I'd like that to happen. Yeah, I'd love to like the cutscene happen, but you're still playing, so you're just walking with them, like or oh you yeah, can just be... wander off and do your own thing while they just carry on talking <laughs> and doing their own thing. Just shoot an NPC yeah, in the background. Just do what you want in yeah. the cutscene. I've had this idea for a while because I don't remember last time I played GTA, but one of the things that kind of irks me currently in GTA 5 is like the business system. Mm. I really like the idea because that's like one of the ways they make money is like they bring out a business and you invest your money into it and see if you can get any return. I like the idea of having some kind of business strategy where you can actually co-own it with other players. Yeah. Like oh. they have to chip in. Like that, that would be sick. Like do a, do like a milkman company within mm. gta but obviously it's highly illegal yeah exactly selling that cocaine like you do the deliveries yeah. i i do the making of it i put Steven all the money and just it. sits there i mean i suppose it's sort <laughs> of like that at the moment because you can make businesses and stuff in there and yeah then, but, but it's like, not like it's, it's connected owned isn't it? to you isn't yeah, it? yeah yeah but you can have employees yeah whereas this would be co-owned mm. that would be cool mm. i also i asked this quite a while ago and nobody liked the idea but i kind of want there to be some kind of like fuel system for vehicles no no sort of well no i don't maybe for campaign i don't know if i will agree about that because like the map is rumored to be like fucking massive triple the size of gta 5's map mm. so i don't know how i feel about that one and the amount of they, they would make you pay for fuel yeah. would be actually yeah. ridiculous <laughs> imagine you have to get a shark car you have to pay for in-game <laughs> yeah. currency just to fuel That'd your be car mad. You, you'd spend you spend like eight hours doing missions and then spend all of it on fuel. <laughs> you have to get a nine to five in a game. <laughs> just it's just a real fuel. life simulator, but with guns. Maybe for the guns. That's just America. Did yeah. you find it, Steve? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Uh, the messaging app Slack. Never heard of it. But he hacked into Rockstar's like group chat. Oh, okay. And the, it's like a platform they use for collaboration. The ninety videos were just in there, so we downloaded them all. Oh, fair play. Ah, so he so wasn't really that much yeah. of a hacker. He just, yeah, he just kind of got into a group chat. Into he, group he wasn't chat. really the one that found it. So he, they're prosecuting the wrong person. Realistically, he just shared it. Someone well, yeah, else found you, them and uh, he just downloaded them and shared them. Well, yeah, no, because it was a rock star group chat. So they were sharing the videos with each other. And you then, shouldn't do that on an open chat link. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's their fault. It's, it's on them. But also, <laughs> that's scary because he's joined a group chat with videos and whatever. Mm. Imagine ours got leaked. <laughs> prison, immediately. Yeah, it wouldn't even be the leaker that went to prison. Um, but yeah, all excited for GTA 6? Yeah, have very. you got any hopes for it, Chris? Very. Uh, because you don't game as much as the rest. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nerd. <laughs> yeah, you go outside. Imagine having a social Weird. life. Freak. Yeah. Oh, I don't mind. I like the... Uh... Races, <laughs> <laughs> but always stresses me because I don't play it a lot. Yeah. Is then I'll join with you guys, and then you've all got like modded cars and stuff. So it's just like, oh, oh, right, yeah, right, yeah. Sounds... Do you know what the solution to this is? Play more. Don't worry, mate. I'll drop you a load of money. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> See, I'm, I'm, Danny gets it. I'm assuming you're very, very excited, Steve. Being the avid gamer you are. Oh, that's something you can yeah, tell. Be fair, the, the worst thing is you said this at the wrong podcast because you need to talk to Simon about this. Yeah, he was, well, he I mean, sweat. it's not my fault he fucking died, is it? Yeah, he's right, literally baby. six foot under. You know what I mean? Stop bringing it up. It's really upsetting. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you want to tell the short story about you and Simon getting uh, perman banned for a little while on GTA Five? Oh yeah, we didn't get perman banned. Was it not? Camps got reset. Yeah, yeah. I also was there because we just. Did, I was the one who. We found just did the something in game. There was an exploit. It's oh, like yeah. you could literally you could buy a house and then. You did like right. run onto a menu. Can I, can I explain the thing? Because I was the one that told Sai about it. Yeah. <laughs> so Get you out. could buy Passive this. aggressive, wasn't it? Can I, can I fucking explain it, please? <laughs> I, I, it's because I know, know it in more detail. <laughs> it's because I so know it better. This, <laughs> Go for it. This garage Steve would was, just shut up, you know? It was a two-car garage you could buy for like 10 grand. Right. Okay. And then you basically can swap it out for 2 million a time. So you gain 2 million from it. Okay. So you just keep repeating it and repeating it and repeating it. And I think Sai made like 200 million. I made like four or 500 million. I'm not sure how much Steven made, but we all got all like 200, 300 plus level accounts reset. Mm, yeah. And there's people out there that are like hacking. Yeah. Like we encountered people the other day that were just invisible. Really? Yeah. And they'd like 
10 billion KD, uh, like KD. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and they're just like, they're just, and think about like all the people with like money. <laughs> I mean, yeah, like the millions of money, and it's like they just reset our account for doing I know, in but... exploiting game, whereas like it wasn't like an actual third party hack. No, but I suppose it's easier to track down the people oh, that yeah. we're buying yeah. and selling the yeah. same thing over and over. Yeah, if someone's like making two hundred million in a day, well, let's be honest, they're doing something. They kind of deserve it. Yeah. Mm. Um, so if you haven't already, make sure to follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok with the handle at WatchMilkmen for behind the scenes and extra content. And also because you'll be granted my father's approval. So once again, at WatchMilkmen for Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. That's impressive. He doesn't have his father's approval. I definitely do. <laughs> <laughs> um, Moving on. Hold on, hold on. Uh, just game news. Have you heard of like, you know, War Thunder? Have yeah. You heard of War Thunder? Yeah. So it's a war like, planes mainly but you can tanks and stuff like that okay so they unleashed some unreal top secret information on some planes and stuff so when they released the a10 um plane uh they they didn't fire like the gun right right in the game so there was some players that was like okay here's the top secret document improve it <laughs> and they uh, they recently did it on the Su thirty seven I think it is, which is the Russians' main line fighter at the moment. Okay. And well, it's all going a bit crazy because <laughs> they just keep releasing top secret government documents. What the game? The game, like pay, pay, players of the game. Like this, there was a one on a tank. The tank didn't fire right or like move properly in the game. In the game, so an actual like driver of the tank. Release released documents on the tank to like how say, hey, un- improve this. Because like this is works. how it works, yeah? What? So they just keep releasing these documents and That's finding them concerning. online somehow. It's unreal. And I really enjoy the game, so it's like really dangerous to play the game at the moment. <laughs> Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> that's really cool, but really concerning. Yeah, it's terrifying. It's like the F-16, one, like one of the fighters of the US using them mainly, mm. is has just been released as well. And it's all going crazy. Is this kind of an indie game, or is it kind of got a no, wider massive. audience? Yeah, it's it's a huge. Okay, game. I've never heard. It's of one of these before. games that it's like a tree. Like you, so, you pick a certain country, you can go through the different countries, mm. but you start at their World War One fighter planes and stuff like that, and then you've got to work through the tree to get to the top line. Okay. So you have to put thousands and thousands of hours into the game to get to the t- uh, top thing. So it's a really grindy game, but okay. people love it. <sighs> and then there's also people that just do that. <laughs> it's very concerning. It's terrifying. I want to play it. <sighs> it's a great game. I recommend it if you want to be arrested. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to Kudal Conversation, which is a conversation between... I've put the six of us, but unfortunately Simon died. The five of us, where we delve into the hypotheticals of the world's <laughs> most notorious and despicable questions that we encourage you, the audience, to send us. So please, if you've got a question for us that you want us to answer, send it in, comment below. Okay, so the hypothetical question for today, would you still jack off when you came, your semen was just one massive sperm, and afterward, you have to fight it? Yes. How giant are we talking? Human size. Like, oh, imagine... Scott, I'm pushing that out. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just put like boss fight music on. I mean, <laughs> just beating the shit out of your own sperm. It's fun, that. It's just extra cardio, so why not? XP in it. XP. XP. The XP you'd get from your own sperm. Protein. Protein. <laughs> Mate. Damn. Um, fucking kill it. Eat it. Go to the gym. Sorted. Protein. Nice. Advice. <laughs> <laughs> a human sized cum. <laughs> In all fairness, out of your cock, that would hurt. I feel like that would probably kill me anyway. Yeah. I'm just done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, just, just lying on the ground. And he just kill me. <laughs> <laughs> Blood everywhere. It's like, ah. <laughs> no, like it, it's, it doesn't hurt. It's, it's just, just I mean, like... I'm assuming it doesn't hurt now. Chris. So, so it's like, it's like <laughs> right. it comes out really small and then just grows. Yeah, like, still immediately. burns the same. <laughs> <laughs> Go and get that checked out immediately. Uh, what yeah, you okay. Do- this so- is, you don't have to do this, by no. the way. This question was, would you? Yeah, I'm trying to think of, like, could I do it? So if it doesn't hurt, <laughs> and say it, like, grew into a human size, yeah. right there and then. Uh, yeah, I'd do it. Yeah, what I mean, it's got no arms. It's just going to just into yeah. you, you know what I mean? Be a bit scared if you're having sex with someone, and then it grows. <laughs> 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 
Oh no. You don't pull out and say, oh damn. Oh, oh damn. that's horrible. Uh, I mean, yeah. still play it though. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> just cut, it's absolutely just massacred your girlfriend you're like right I've still got to take him on well no I guess I'm going to have to fight you aren't I <laughs> just bear in mind this question was would you do this it wasn't this is happening to you it yeah, has, to you think. have to answer no, there's, yeah. there's different ways to take the question though isn't there yeah you got to take it realistically. We're yeah. just going to do it. All the details. <laughs> if you Real- do it, how could you do it, and yeah. would you succeed? Realistically, yes, I would let this happen. Mm. I would have this happen. Steve, okay. what would you do? Yeah, I'm all right. Yeah, see, normal answer. Me how about too. You, Alice? I'll just use it as a beanbag. Okay, so so, so you're going to lie on it, but it's trying to kill you. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Anyway, it's like fighting. Yeah, with try one. and tame it and ride it's it. It's like uh, trying to fight with one of those yoga balls, you know. When you're sat on it, you're just <laughs> fucking moving all the time. What happens to them after you've like beat them? Otherwise, you're just, just gonna have them laying around. Yeah, just, <laughs> just a sperm in your house. Like. <laughs> yeah. It's like a Mr. Meeseeks. You just Imagine kill it. Just and walking. Then it's just... right. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Just lies there. Just yeah, walking right. into okay. the public. Is there, is there another question? <laughs> yeah, there's a bonus question. <laughs> if you had the chance, would you want to be pain-free for the rest of your life? Pain-free, as in emotional pain, physical pain. Any pain. Ooh. Any pain. Physical, no. Because that's a very easy way to die. Yeah, because... Because like, imagine you get stabbed like from behind. You don't know. Because yeah, behind you, you can't see behind you. And you just bleed to death. And then yeah, emotionally, it's just... It, it's character builder, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't... That's I really wouldn't be profound. the person I am today if I wasn't emotionally scarred like I am. If I didn't try and kill myself on... The... No. <laughs> <laughs> Alice? Uh, I don't know. Probably, maybe I would try it for a day and see if I... Uh, Enjoyed it. Enjoyed it. Well, just I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't know if I enjoyed it because I would <laughs> have... <laughs> the thing is, he just starts fucking chopping his arms off. Wow, that's just crazy. <laughs> Chris? Uh, no. Fair um, enough. Hang on, let me think. <laughs> <laughs> He's still thinking about that sperm. Isn't he? <laughs> yeah, I can't get out of my head. Um, <laughs> hang on a minute. <laughs> is it that big? <laughs> okay, moving on. Uh, Steve? No. You wouldn't? No. At all? No. What were you? Yeah. Yeah, not. For, I don't know. No, you want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm in so much pain. No, I wouldn't because it's not only pe- like any physical touch you wouldn't feel yeah. if you catch my drift. It's like if I just see, I wouldn't be able to feel you touching my leg. And now he's hard because he no. can feel it. No, it's not painful, it's not pain. but it's a it's feeling. A bit that you didn't say that. you said pain. Oh, yeah. do, you know what? do you know what? It's true. It's true. He's, oh, got you. Yeah. he's got you. I would argue all feeling is pain. Like, it's just a different what? pressure of pain. Um, being alive is <laughs> pain. Is pain. Yeah, so you just vanish. <laughs> Simple as that. You just die anyway. Just dead. I definitely would choose to have this after leg day. Definitely. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. yeah. How, yeah was, oh, how was your legs after that day? Ah, fucked, mate. <laughs> they were already fucked anyway. Do you know what? My arse was killing me after leg day last week. That wasn't because of the workout. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't, yeah. It didn't help that I'd walked 15 miles after. Why? I've, unintentionally. I just went to Manchester for a day and I just found out that I walked 15 miles. Fair enough. That's it's just their own. It's walk home. sickening. It's just an odd flex, isn't it? Is it? You went Manchester? Yeah. I had, had a great a time. Hole, like. <laughs> it really wasn't. I'm quite surprised how good Manchester's turned out. No, it gets a lot of slack, but it's it's quite nice. It's like fucking trying to dollop rail, mate. Fucking dollop rail. <laughs> <laughs> right, moving on. Segment seven, change game. It's a new segment. So two of the milkmen perform a scene based on suggestions from everyone else on the table. At any point during the scene, the host, so we'll decide who the two people are doing the scene, and the host will decide who they are, all three of them. The host can say, change, at which point the previous line of dialogue and or action is replaced with a new line of dialogue dialogue and or action. So for example, let's say, we decide that it's two businessmen on a boat that are discussing drugs, right? And then the host, say it's Ellis, and then me and Daniel are the two people. I didn't like that. <laughs> don't, have, don't ever Daniel. call me Daniel again. <laughs> Daniel. Oh, We're the people that are doing it. I'll say to Daniel, like, oh, the sea looks lovely. And doing then, it on purpose now. <laughs> doing it on purpose. Yeah, I am. Oh, the sea looks lovely today. And then you, Ellis, the host, could go, change. And then I go, Oh, you look lovely today. Change. Uh, yeah, I've seen oh, okay. Danny, your arse. It looks lovely today. And you could keep going, okay? Yeah. So I'm going to be the host for today because don't want to be doing this. 
who is going to be doing what? Stephen definitely. I don't has understand to. the concept of the game. I reckon we so, do two ends at the moment. I don't understand. So okay, well you just decide who they are. I'll just pick someone else, and I'll be able to know what you're on about. This is, I yeah, can't no, that's what I'm no. saying. No, no. So it's completely out of mind. So it's two characters mm. just having a conversation off a scene that he picks, mm. and then you just literally just going off that. Off yeah, then you've got to make well, a conversation. Then he, if no, he you're say, not changing anything. I'm changing. So if you, for, so for, say for example, it's you and Ellis, mm. and I say you are both businessmen on a boat, and you're discussing the, the possibilities of superpowers. Yeah. Right. You have to have a conversation like you are a businessman mm. with Ellis, mm. and then if I shout change, you have to change the previous line of dialogue that you've just said, the previous sentence. Mm. So you just change the sentence, basically, just completely whatever you think. Yeah. Or perhaps because he's so confused because he's a fucking. He, he's the host. He's no. the host and you two do it. I'm not doing it. I think that'd be fun. I or think, you two, because that would be great. I think Christopher and Daniel. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay, so I'll see this going well. He's, gonna say, he's just going to say come every, every time. Change. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> right, so who are they? Who are they? Like, what are they? Fishermen. They're two fishermen. Mm. Where are they? Oh, good. In um, a club. <laughs> two fishermen in okay. a club and what are they talking about uh viagra <laughs> right okay so who's the cha- oh i'm the host so mm-hmm. okay. Right. okay wait hang on what are we talking about so you're fishermen, fishermen in a club talking about viagra right okay i'm getting stressed <laughs> oh, wait are you in it Hold on. Yes. Oh, oh my god! god. Ellis. Right, Stephen. No. Just for the next five minutes, just shut watch. your fucking mouth. G- g- oh, give me, give me, give me. <laughs> just, just, uh, yeah. I'm gonna need. I need, need this. <laughs> for reference, that's apple juice. That yeah, so Daniel... this is oh. nothing. It's r- it's really weird branded apple juice. Fuck! I can't get a lid on it. Yeah, He's I'll... had too much you apple go. juice. <laughs> <laughs> you enjoy that. For some Jesus. reason, I like to mix my apple juice with Coke. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you can hear this. That's what it sounds like when I piss. Lovely. Are you quite done? Okay, now <laughs> I'm done. I... Are you ready for this segment? Shall okay. I start off? Yeah, let's go. Okay. So we're two fishermen. Two fishermen in a club talking about right. Viagra. Don't need to do an accent, just... And then, no, if I, tell me. and then if I shout change, you have to change the previous sentence you've just said. All right, okay. Let me look at Danny here, perhaps. God, you're good looking. <laughs> <laughs> change. <laughs> God, you're ugly. <laughs> right. He's a biographer uh, for you, yeah? You ready? <laughs> okay. Go. Hello, Captain. Fancy seeing you here? <laughs> That's perfect. Come on, come on, come on. So, have you tried Viagra, Captain? Wait, you're the, the captain. <laughs> <laughs> They're both captains. Just go both with captains that's crazy. Different boats. Yeah. yeah. How's the how's the boat uh, Viagra <laughs> delivery on your part? <laughs> oh, you know, it keeps it hard out on the seas. How about you? Change. It keeps me hard out on the seas. How about you? <laughs> oh, mate, I've been having some real issues with it. Change. It's been going quite well. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't I got the thing for you, my friend? Change. <laughs> hey, I'll send Viagra. Change. <laughs> um, hey, have this mysterious pill that I have. Oh, okay. Change. No. <laughs> Change. I'll give it to my dog. <laughs> I wouldn't do that if I was you. Change. <laughs> Your dog's going to be rock solid. Change. <laughs> Your dog's going to be very uncomfortable. <laughs> Oh, right, okay. Um, well, I'll try it on my cat then. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. Change. Your dog's going to... Your, your cat is going to explode. Change. He's going to die. <laughs> Cats... He's got nine lives. He'll be all right. Change. <laughs> yeah, he is looking pretty rough, to be honest with you. <laughs> Change. Um, okay, well, I'll just take it instead. That's a good idea, because you'll be solid for days. Change. You and your wife are gonna have a good time. Change. You, you and your sister are gonna have a brilliant time. <laughs> oh, no. No. Go on, finish it off. Um, all right, I'll see you next week. <laughs> nice. We got there in the end. That was, that was fucking awful. incredible. I need more of this. 
That was more, a, he needs more of his apple juice. Now I feel like that went pretty well. That went fucking excellent. Oh, that was brilliant. Did it? <laughs> Do you understand <laughs> yeah. the concept now? Not really. You, you changed every oh, line my. of dialogue. So that's I didn't know what actually happened. It. It's so called it's, change, yeah. mate. Yeah, it's yeah. called change. You just have to change and just go yeah. off. You have to come up with a new sentence every time someone says yeah. change. So, for example, when I wanted him to start saying different things, I would say change. So when, when for example, Danny would say, your cat is going to die. Yeah, yeah, I got I that. said change. I wanted him to go, your cat is going to have a nice time. Yeah, but change. he didn't say that. He kept saying it. He kept saying yeah, it. Negative. That's why I was like, you're saying the well, same thing. Well, next time, mate, stop fucking butting in and saying, I don't get it, and you do it, yeah? No. Jesus. All right. <laughs> oh, that was fucked up. That was brilliant. Why did I go the sister around? <laughs> <laughs> I like that, though. It went just fucking off the rails so quickly. <laughs> now, Ellis, yes. can you go and grab my phone, please? Because before Simon, unfortunately, passed away... Of eating too many Kinder Buenos. Um, I totally did... wasn't Ellis that murdered him. No. It wasn't. This definitely isn't a cover up. I <laughs> got Simon to actually send um, some uh, milk facts. So, final segment Simon's milk facts. Simon says one of his favorite facts about milk off the cuff, which isn't off the cuff because it's pre recorded. Milk is the official drink of 21 United States. Simon, come back to bed. Fuck. <laughs> He's at work there. I don't think he was. No, no, I know who that was. That was Jack Starr in the background. I think he was in bed with another man. He was in bed with Jack Starr. I'm dra name dropping you. That's I know hard. you watch these things. Four. Okay. I know you do. <laughs> I think Daniel's had too much to drink. <laughs> I like nah. this version of Daniel. I'm very confident when I'm drunk. Yeah, I know. I like it. Be like this all I'm the time. I'm going to drink all the time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. let's fuck it. Let's do it. <laughs> Stephen, do you want to get on this as well? Do you want some rum? No, I mean, right. apple juice. I'm going to get on the drive home. <laughs> Man's got to drive. And? Yeah. Can I have some? <laughs> you drink, You do all the time. What, drive? And yeah, drink. with apple juice in your system. Yep. Apple juice. It's a tasty beverage. <laughs> okay. Anyone else got anything to say before we cut off this episode? Still... Buy the merch. Yeah, good idea. Nice fucking go and buy it. Yes. Milkman.shop. And make sure to go to patreon.com slash milkman and enter the competition right fucking now. Because if you don't buy the milky toes, you're broke. That's one of the membership levels where we will send you pictures of our toes covered in milk. I right. can't wait for someone to buy that one. I'm going to get that cap. And... All right, bye-bye. <laughs> we'll find out in the next episode, I guess. <laughs> I want it. <laughs> Come on, let's shit in this can. Oh, shit, yeah. <laughs> Get in. <laughs> We're not cutting it. We're not no, cutting it. It's 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 staying. This, staying. Is, this is all staying. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for listening. Make sure to check out our Patreon at patreon.com slash milkmen for early access to our videos, bonus content, monthly toe pictures, merchandise, discounts, signed postcards, your name in the videos we produce, and more. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive Daniel's penis and make sure to click that bell to be notified for future content. And if I, I didn't agree to this. <laughs> he did. And if there's nothing, didn't. And if there's nothing else, we'll see you next time, you frog-licking drug addicts. <laughs>